My name is Sarah. I'm black. I'm Matthew. I'm white. And welcome to the Interracial Couple Podcast. Wait, it's not all black and white. Everything is perfect. We have the most amazing, perfect relationship. And if you want to know how to just live in total bliss, just show up every weekend. We will impart that. And just by showing up and listening and watching, it will just emanate from us and oh you will my be able to like pull it in. You are yeah. so pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just forget that we have fights all, every single morning? Oh, the last couple of days we've been fighting and you had an idea. <laughs> yeah, the idea was like every time we argue, we pause for a minute and kiss each other for and like tongue kissing. So after a few kisses, we completely stopped fighting uh, and not quite sure if that's because it worked to help us out or if it was because we would be like, I'm not fighting with you <laughs> because I would rather get along than kiss that face. That's <laughs> probably what happened. <laughs> it was probably about a month from our first kiss until we had sex. Yeah, so right before I met you, I had told my best friend that I am not going to have sex with anyone if I'm not in a committed relationship with them. And then once I met you, she's just like, you're going to sleep with him and forget like what you had said. And I was like, no, I'm not. And then she was like, I bet you to like, not sleep with him. Sarah made a joke earlier. This is like climbing Mount Kenya. And I've climbed Mount Kenya. And I'll tell you that fasting is more difficult than climbing Mount Kenya. Day five of our fast, we've eaten nothing for five days except we drank water. And, and tea. How's and it going? I'm feeling so much better today. Like for me, the last couple of days have been hell. But today, I feel good. Look at my face. It looks better today. Right? Like she actually looks like she's somebody worth loving and living with. <laughs> Race does not play a very big role in our relationship. But race is something that plays a role in the world. And therefore, when the world's racial stuff um, you know, flares in a major way, it inevitably comes into our relationship. For you as a white person, I feel like whiteness is judged by itself. But for me, I always feel like everywhere I go, I take, I have this thing on my shoulders, like I'm representing my people, you know, mm. and my people don't exist in Sonoma County. What you're doing by actually engaging in business and in, in creating opportunities for people of color to uh, have a you know make a good living these types of things that is actually activism to be honest it does not feel enough i was definitely feeling that way every time i get into a funk i feel that way that you shouldn't be in the I funk like i shouldn't be like oh like i shouldn't be here but afterwards like this morning i'm like you know what no several weeks of just struggle are not a bad thing no and i'm putting it out there because i think a lot of times that you know people think oh i gotta get over this quickly or I shouldn't be in a funk. Those moments of real discontentment can then start bleeding over into other areas and just how we interact into our sex life or into whatever else it is. Once again, as always, make sure to subscribe, follow on you know social media, on wherever you get your podcasts. We look forward to hearing from you and staying in touch. Yep, have a fabulous week. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.